Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and it is a very dark room. There we go, a little bit of light. It is Veda day number 10, April 10th. 10th day of talking to a cell phone every day. Oh, there it is, real bright. You guys notice anything cool behind me? Oh, you missed that. You didn't get to see that little thing that happened as the door closed. Check this out. Maybe you can see it this way. You can see me in the back. See a little army man? You can kind of focus on him. He's up there. Door closes. Army man drops, comes back up. If you guys may have noticed and seen a little bit here, I am in the bathroom. There's a toilet right there. It's gonna be a bathroom vlog, but not like that. I'm not gonna be going to the bathroom. I'm just going to the bathroom. So I can show you guys my cool Toy Story bathroom that I have and put together when we moved in here. Look, there's a cool little alien carpet. I guess he's upside down. How about now? Cool little fancy flip move, there we go. See, it's an alien carpet. There he is. And there's all kinds of cool Toy Story things that we got hanging out here. We got the little Fisher Price phone guy. He used to make noise. I guess he doesn't work anymore. Uh, we got a bunch of little army men over here on the sides. Woody holding the toothbrush. Cool little alien guy. Again, an alien soap dispenser. The kids kind of let him get dirty and he's ruined. Um, I even have the cool Pixar ball. It's a real ball. It bounces. Uh, notice I put up here, come on, let me get this, uh, well, the army men can be in the way, he's kind of cool. I love parachute army men, so I hook this thing up with, I don't think you can see it because it's so light, but if you look kind of close, right up here, there's some fishing line, and that fishing line goes all the way across to, uh, there's a little pin way up there, you can kind of see it up in that area right there, there's a little push pin, and it's a loop I made, and then another string coming down that connects to the army man, and inside the army man, I actually just cut out a piece of tape. Like I put two pieces of tape together and made a circle. And put that on the inside to kind of fluff up the parachute. It's a little dusty now. But that's what I used. I used that also. Here's one of them. I used to have three of them. You can kind of see up there just a little bit of that tape. But I used to have three of them. And when you enter the door, all three would move. They'd do their whole little up and down parachute action kind of thing. And it gave it a lot of movement because there would be one right here. There's another one about right there, and then the third one was up there just hanging stationary, and there'd be like these three cool army men, and they would all move. It was really neat. But again, the kids kind of broke some of them. And then, you know, it is what it is. But check this out. So these are part of the decorations that I've got. i got some army men on top of the door, and there's a, like holding a chain link of one of the barrel of monkeys, monkeys, and they're kind of pulling over to these other army men up here. And they use the rest of the barrel of monkeys to make like a chain across the top of the mirror just to give it more color. I put some army men up on top of the lights up there. And then in here, inside the tub, I'm going to actually jump in the tub and stand on the edge here. Let's hope I don't fall down mid-vlog because that would be a little embarrassing. Kind of funny, but a little embarrassing. But up here on top of this weird little spot over the tub, um, I put up a lot of cool Toy Story toys. They're actually a lot of my favorite toys that I had. Some of them are just from my collection, not even from my kids' stuff. These are just ones that I tracked down personally for me to put up here. Like, we have a real ham working piggy bank. You can maybe hear there's actual coins in there. He is a real functioning piggy bank. He has actual cork belly. And he's made of, like, ceramic kind of same thing as a real piggy bank. I've got a uh, cool RC car. I've got more aliens. i got... Miss Potato Head, and there's Mr. Potato Head, and he's sporting some different kind of accessories. Notice he's got a Mickey Mouse autograph book. He's got a Mickey Mouse ice cream in his hand. He's got Mickey ears, and he also talks. Maybe I'll take him down and show him to you in just a second. But, sorry I'm moving the camera so much. I'm like literally standing on a tub in between the two things. So every time I move, I gotta like jump from side to side, and I'm just standing on a tiny little edge here, so. I also have another alien back here. I've got the cool rock face dude. There's Slinky Dog way up there. And this whole thing that they're on, this little thing, I actually made out of an erector set, or Tinker Toys, not erector set, but Tinker Toys. And I just kind of put it together and hoped it would work. And it kind of did work, and I haven't warped too much from being in here in the bath. And I use some of those Barrel of Monkey jars. You can see that Barrel of Monkey jar. I use that to, you know, just basically put it up here and make it as a stand. There's also some neat stuff up here. There's the green barrel of monkeys jar. There's this little bookworm dude from Toy Story. I got this from Burger King way back in like, I guess 96 when the first movie came out. I got him. 
Larry, I think, or Lenny was his name. And so he's pretty cool. Let's flip. Let's see if I can bring down Mr. Potato Head without breaking anything. There he is. Here he is, Mr. Potato Head. All right, let's see if we can get him to talk. Check out those cool Mickey ears. Mr. Potato Head. Now, back at California Adventure a few years back, they used to have this, um, before the remodel, they used to have a little place there where you could buy all these cool little parts and stuff them into a box. And as many as you could stuff into the box for 20 bucks, you could keep. Now, they'd also let you take a big potato home, and that would take up a lot of the box. But you could also not take the potato and just take the pieces. So ended up doing that a couple times, I think. We've got a bunch of these Disney-themed pieces. I don't use them all, but we've got them. Does he not work anymore? I don't think he works anymore. Maybe there's an on button or something. Yeah, I think he might be dead. That's okay. We'll have to put new batteries in him one day and give him another try. But yeah, that's my cool Mr. Potato Head. And when he talks to you and he gets mad, he um, kind of pops all his pieces out. But he's really cool. If you guys want to see me go through like a demo or run through of this Mr. Potato Head, I'll get some batteries and put them in there. And you guys can see kind of how he works. Let's take a look who's up here. I've got Mr. Buzz Lightyear. I think he's got an actual off and on switch buried in here somewhere. There's an on switch. Buzz Lightyear, sign it off. He still works. Now he was, this is like the fancy cool limited edition movie version. Notice his little wing blinkers are going off. Nope, there he goes. Let's see if he'll get the anti-gravity belt working. Oh, does he do it? There he goes. So he actually like flies and makes flying noises. And you can kind of sense that you picked him up to make him fly. Sector 12 is safe. Mission accomplished. Click, click. Pretty cool. But it's like one of my favorite like cool toys that we've got here. It's kind of funny, the kids never really get to play with him because he's always on display. The air is yep, he's going to go through his thing again. All right, Buzz, chill out, chill out. Stay there, stay there. Um, it's funny, the kids, like, every once in a while, they'll be like, Dad, can we play with all the Toy Story stuff? And then I'll take it all down and we'll play for a little bit. Um, but it's, it's just cool. I just wanted to share with you guys my own little kind of homemade Toy Story bathroom. We have some towels over here that we got at the Disney store. It's like an alien towel and a bullseye towel to kind of go with the theme. Some of the stuff we got at Target a long time ago before we moved here. And we just kind of had it in mind that we were going to do a Toy Story theme. So the first couple months we lived here, I spent a few months tracking down some of these toys and items so that we could make this bathroom this way. So that's all. I just wanted to make today's little Vita vlog just a little more personal look at my regular day-to-day -day life. Though I don't spend every day in here, my kids do. But I thought you guys, the Disney fans, might enjoy seeing... This here Toy Story bathroom with all this cool stuff. Maybe we can just end it with a picture of me and Mr. Potato Head making a silly face so I can use that as a cover photo. Who's back there? Buzz Lightyear? I think that'll work. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking through these things and hanging out with me through all of Veda. It's been really cool to see all the cool comments you guys are leaving. Thank you for all the nice compliments about my artwork and my music playing. It really does get me right here. The fact that you would take time to write something. And not only take time to write something, but write something positive and give me cool, good energy and good vibes for it. It's really nice that you guys do that. And it's so appreciated. You have no idea. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like Toy Story or Disney or cool bathrooms. Or seeing my back in a mirror. As I think it's like weird mirror mode. How about I move so that's not the case? There we go. Toy Story stuff. That's better. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up for Woody over here. Hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's Veda Vlog number 11. Maybe we'll talk about what I actually did today with the iWatch and all that stuff or Apple Watch, whatever. We'll see. Find out tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. Goodbye. That's I'm standing in Cinderella's shower. Stupid! Oh, awesome! That's so cool. But it's neat.